So this snail that you guys are watching is called the Caribbean Neurite snail, the white and the black stripes. Uh, this snail is very good, very good to eat the diatoms. As you can see on the images, it's just, uh, I put like uh, maybe 40 or 50 on this uh, new tank that we just set up uh, a couple weeks ago. Uh, yeah, it's about two weeks at this point, but we add the serried snails after, uh, let's say five days or so, because the diatoms were starting to show up. So these snails, uh, they eat other types of algae, but they will also do diatoms very, very well. So all gone. Now the only drawback about this snail is that uh, because it lives in intertidal ecosystems, so in between tides, they can they, they can be in the water, which they will be most of the times, but they can also come outside of the water as defense mechanism against predators, because the predators cannot go outside of the water to catch them. So they have a capacity of holding water keeping moisture and they can breathe uh, and be in a very latent st state outside of the war so they do that now for you to kind of control that so they're not outside of your tank crawling around in your carpet just put a cover a screen cover that's it they will not come out of your tank so they go out a little bit and then they go in eat their algae, you go up again go down so on so on so glass cover, glass top, uh, I'm sorry, uh, screen cover, glass top, something like that. So they won't come out. Now diatoms. Diatoms is uh, usually a problem that shows up uh, at the beginning uh, or when your tank is starting to, you know, when you first started your tank, you have lights, you have a very clean surface. So those rocks are very clean. They don't have anything, no bacteria, no, algae you know nothing so this type of uh, organism diatoms are usually the first organisms to cover a surface a brand new surface and then there will be uh, ecological succession so other organisms will grow on top of it until we have uh, somewhat hair algae then we have different groups and then we have different groups of bacteria that will grow there Make, making the rock more well established ecologically and then uh, coralline algae and at the very last we're going to have coral growing on that surface and that's a hundred percent more than fully mature so but that's it as you guys can see these guys are really besides the herbivores you can also control it by reducing the amount of silica because the diatoms they have a skeleton of silica so that's why we use what's called we used to use these filters called the uh, diet diatom earth filters which was like a powder uh, but that was the skeleton of the diatom so the water will flow through it and we'll catch the debris we can we could rinse it and reuse it so that will polish the water very well because it was so fine so small which are pretty much cells the un unicellular organisms that eventually create big mat as they multiply so a way to control uh, diatoms, let me show you. You can use what's called the granulated ferric oxide. Um, and use something like this, the Dr. G uh, phosphate remover. And it even says here that uh, removes silica. So that's one product. There's many, there's many. Try not to use tap water. Try to use RODI water so you're not adding a lot of different uh, elements or I could almost call it as a pollution and one of them will be silicates, nitrates, ammonia, chloramines if you don't use uh, something like a RO unit. There's other brands, there's Julian Sprung also, Two Little Fish, Spaws man, you can use something like a, like a phosphate reactor. So like a phosphate reactor you can use it to reduce uh, the amount of phosphates and silica there's CCAM also makes a bunch there's Fosgard Fosfiltrum so there's there's a, a lack of options uh, there isn't like for example Chemipure also 
to add the GFO, granule ferric oxide, into their formula. So besides absorbing uh, organic compounds, making the water clear, is also taking out uh, phosphates and silica. Um, but that's pretty much it. Alright guys, see you tomorrow.